hello it's um saya again and um welcome to my channel once more um so today i'm um, gonna be talking about um something that took me a while to understand in art um, in general um so i'm gonna be talking about how to make your drawing come out strong basically how to make a drawing that's so vivid and clear uh, in terms of your values and your um um, your your shit and gradient and all of that. Before I go further, I would want to, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is the right time to do it. You should just click um, the subscribe button and also hit the um, notification bell below so you can get notifications when I post new videos. And also, um, um, it's an instructional video of how I made this drawing step by step. It's going to be um, posted on my Patreon account. I'm also going to put a link to that um, at the description um, um, section below. So yeah, so you want to check it out and so you can basically have full information on how I make um, my drawings or how I did this particular drawing, yes? So now back to what I was talking about, how to make a drawing strong, simple. Now your drawing can be as strong as your imagination can be. I'll say that again. Your drawing is as strong as your imagination of the drawing or rather the painting is, okay? So basically, First and first is you want to have a strong imagination of what your painting should look like when you're done or how you want your painting to look like when you're done. That is one. Secondly, you also want to have a good reference photo for what you are painting. Now, if your reference photo painting is not uh, doesn't have strong contrast, yes, if your reference photo doesn't have strong contrast, you most likely would paint something that also doesn't have strong contrast and contrast is one of the key components to getting the strong drawing if you get what i mean you want to have ski and clear vivid contrast enough if not whatever drawing you're making whatever art you're making would look flat and maybe kind of blurry so it's why as an artist basically i i try to stay away from um, from reference photos that has been edited yeah or that have some sort of um, um, filter applied to it because a lot of times when people do that and they send that to you as an artist the drawings it's already it, it's already looking um, what's it called now kind of plain it's looking blurry so a lot of, a lot of the information is already missing so you can't even get um, a proper a proper nose um, nose cast shadow anymore so you don't even know where the person's nose starts from or where it stops from or where the mouth started from or where it stopped you get what I'm saying so there, there are a lot of confusion with that so what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a strong reference photo that you're working on now once your reference photo is strong enough yes your imagination is strong as well you basically have uh you basically have a good startup because you can only draw what you see right so be it what you're seeing with your natural eye or what you're seeing with your imaginary eye you can only draw what you see now having that put in place the next thing you want to do to get a strong drawing is you want to really know how to play with the contrast your drawing needs to have proper contrast and what does that mean so the basically um the difference between values in your in your drawing sorry if i use drawings a lot i meant to say painting and the difference between um values in your painting need to be clear enough for anybody to see and understand this is the dark shade this is the light shade and this is the medium shade you get now if you don't have that much distinction when you're painting your drawing would look weak now there's a great difference between your drawing looking weak and your drawing looking soft they are two two different two different things entirely you get so you don't want to confuse them for each all right but you want to make your drawing look strong and for you to do that you want to make sure you work with contrast and you work with good contrast so for you to do that your your, your values have to be in place your values have to be in place they have to be clear enough for people to see that okay, this is dark this is light and this is this is um, this is medium and also you want to have smooth transition from each value to the rest again so you don't want to say because you're trying to make your drawing look dark and uh, you're trying to get your values very 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 clear then your transition um, point is very very shallow at that point your drawing will just look something else except of course it's just how you're trying to create for yourself but if you're trying to get um, achieve some level of realism there's always some sort of smooth transition unless when you have that cast shadow and you have maybe cast light light that is very very bright then you can basically not have that transition but it's always most of the time so you're going to have that you get so what is the key to making your drawing strong remember what i said have a clear imagination of what you want your clear imagination of what you want to draw a very strong one secondly have a reference photo that also has strong contrast so it helps you uh, put your drawing properly and in place and thirdly 
play with contrast play with contrast make sure every value is clear and vivid enough for people to see so that's pretty much how you can make a drawing strong for my in my own opinion um thank you for watching this video again let me know what you think in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and have a lovely day bye